What is up, PD Party, and welcome to another episode of the Madden Week to Week franchise series with the Jacksonville Jaguars. If you're new to the channel, if you're new to the series, welcome. welcome. To the I'm Himalayas. your host, your Prince of Party, downtown PD Brown, and our head coach, our general manager, is the owner of the pro wrestling company AEW, the son of the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Shad Khan. He is the man who is turning around the Jacksonville Jaguars. He is Tony Khan. And it is episode 23. Hopefully it's a lucky episode like Michael Jordan, the GOAT 23. Not like that weird Jim Carrey 23 movie. And it's also our holiday episode. Happy holidays, PD Party. Hope you all have a merry, merry Christmas, a happy, happy Hanukkah, and a very laughable life day to you, to yours, to your family, to your friends. Hopefully you all have a great holiday season and hopefully I can entertain you on episode 23 of the Madden Week to Week Franchise Series. And why do we call it the Week to Week Franchise Series? Because we're different than any other franchise series on YouTube on Madden 21. We play along with the real life Jacksonville Jaguars. When they play a game, we play a game. We review how they did in real life and this season, hopefully we do a little bit better. So. Let's look at some footage of how the Jacksonville Jaguars did in their week 15 matchup against the Baltimore Ravens. Let's throw a minute on the clock. Ready, set, go. And it was another blowout loss for the Jacksonville Jaguars. The reigning defending MVP, the Madden cover boy, Lamar Jackson, had a huge game. He had three touchdowns through the air, one to Mark Andrews, one to a known name receiver, and another to Des Bryant. Des Bryant gets his first touchdown in three years. Lamar Jackson, of course, being the dual threat he is, also rushed for a touchdown. It wasn't all bad. The Jacksonville Jaguars did force one interception to Lamar Jackson, but the very next series, Gardner Minshew was sacked for a safety. Gardner Minshew didn't have a great game. He didn't have a bad game, though. He did throw two touchdowns. One to James Robinson, one to the con man, Conley. But in a revenge game, Ngakwe did force a fumble from Gardner Minshew. Another terrible loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They desperately need this season to be over. We are coming off a huge victory in week 14. We won the Clash of the Titans. More specifically, our running back, our brand new running back, former D tackle, former AEW pro wrestler, the T Rex, Luchasaurus, had over 100 yards, not only helping us claim a victory against the Tennessee Titans, but defeating the Yeti, the Freight Train, the X Factor, Derrick Henry in the Clash of the Titans. We've swept the Tennessee Titans this season, which has given us a two game lead over the Indianapolis Colts in the AFC South. Hopefully we can win the division. It'll be a very tough matchup in week 15 because we're facing the Baltimore Ravens. Their quarterback is the cover athlete of Madden 21. He is the X Factor, the Truz, the reigning defending MVP. He is Lamar Jackson coming up a huge victory in real life and in Madden 21. In Madden 21, he slayed the Browns 44 to 16. In real life, he had a heroic victory against the Cleveland Browns and some other kind of Browns. Two forces of nature. He is on fire in real life and in our Madden week to week franchise series. And he's looking to keep in the flame on week 15 as we have to travel to Baltimore and try to win against the Truz Lamar Jackson and not only Lamar Jackson we are facing a very familiar face a staple in the Jacksonville Jaguars franchise Calais Campbell he's an x-factor he'll be very tough he'll be looking to get his revenge against us but it's a new regime all the wrongs he did in the past we're trying to right them now and we're trying to be as prepared as possible because Tony Khan wants to win not just the division not in the playoffs but the Super Bowl so any great organization needs to be prepared. They need to study their opponent. They need to watch film. They need to do some digging. And we did some digging. And we found a very special video of Lamar Jackson that I think you all enjoy. Let's watch it. Now being told that Lamar Jackson is back in the Ravens locker room being treated for cramps. It. Hold it. Uh, uh. Ah, uh, jeez, uh, uh, this is gonna be a photo finish. Hey, hey, just grab a hold of something, bite your lip, and give it hell. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Kyle. 
I love you, and therefore vicariously he loves you. I can make him Mr. Anki too. That's Trotter. Throw for it, and he's got it. Marquise Brown hangs on to the football and scores. How do you like that? Mr. Hanky, the Christmas too. Christmas leaves, he must leave too. And now for something completely different. And we have some good news. Another player returning from injury. Last week, Ron Lear returned from injury. This week, it's D.D. Westbrook. We just signed him to a big contract, so hopefully he can stay healthy, perform big for us, and show us why he is a star athlete at the wide receiver position. We are back at the table with Steiner Mania, son of a Steiner, Bronson Rex Steiner, our rookie sensation fullback. We are trying to sign him to a long-term deal last week. We got denied. He wanted a higher signing bonus. We gave him a milli. We gave him a million dollars. Let's see if he signs this long-term deal and stays a Jacksonville Jaguar. We got him. This offer is perfect. I can't wait till next year. Steiner Mania, let's keep it rolling. This week for scouting, we scout a D-tackle because we will need to draft a D-tackle for defensive line depth. And our best pick would be Earl Kirkpatrick out of Mississippi State. Slated to go in the fourth round, but he's a second round talent. Hopefully we can get, my name is Earl. My name is Earl. Our first player upgrade, Jordan Howard. We got in a trade from the Miami Dolphins earlier in the season. He is at 81 overall, tied with LaVisca Chenault as our top rated running back. But you can't deny Luchasaurus. He's just been on fire. Definitely Jordan Howard's nipping at his heels. But as long as Luchasaurus can still perform, still produce great results, he will still be the starter. But glad to see Jordan Howard continuing to improve. Up next, we have David Njoku, another player we traded for from the Cleveland Browns. Our young tight end is now an 80 overall, our number two tight end behind Tyler Eifert. James Robinson is now 70 overall, not as high as his 83 on the actual Madden rosters, but we're happy to finally have James Robinson in the 70s. This is one impressive undrafted rookie. And finally, we upgrade one of our captains, Miles Jack. We will upgrade his pass coverage bring him to 83 overall, our starting right outside linebacker, star player. Great to upgrade a player that's pivotal like Miles Jack. It's game time, week 15. We are the Jacksonville Jaguars at 83 overall, facing the Baltimore Ravens on the road there. 85 overall, just desperately fighting for a playoff spot. Getting a big win last week against the Cleveland Browns, blowing about 44 to 16, looking to keep that streak alive here at home. Let's see who their superstar and X-Factor players are before we kick off week 15. Yo, you dealing with the X Factor.
It is week 15. We are on the road at M&T Bank Stadium. Seems like we go to a different bank every week, whether we're at home or on the road. We are facing the Baltimore Ravens, who are fighting for a playoff spot at 7-6. and six, Close to the Cleveland Browns, who just dominated the last week. They're on fire, and they're desperate. They want to get a big win. And here we go. We're facing the Madden cover athlete, the reigning defending MVP, Lamar Jackson, the X Factor, the Truss, he will definitely be tough today. Let's be ready for Lamar Jackson to get into X Factor mode. Or throw a quick slant. That could have been more dangerous. Willie Sneed almost had the need for speed on that slant. I feel the need, the need for speed. My name is Barry Allen, and I am the fastest man alive. Lamar Jackson experience. We just dropped a possible pick six. Hopefully we can still hold him here on third and three. That would have been awesome, but I'll take a stop either way. Oh man, CJ got to break up that pass. So close. So we just gave up another first down here through the air to Willie Sneed. It's I think his third first down of the game. Show some pride, guys. Make a stop. Get that sack. There we go, Gino. Lose weight. Get started now. Call or visit Atkins.com for a free Atkins Quick Start Kit with three free bars. First sack of the game, Geno Atkins getting that big sack. Let's keep on the pressure. Why? Why? Oh my gosh, what a catch. And we probably got a penalty on us. Roughing the passer. Roughing the passer. Defense. Double trouble. They didn't even need it. That was my bad. I was Von Miller. Just trying to get that sack. Well, they just got a roughing the passer call and a huge pass completion. There in the goal line. Let's try to hold him. There we go. Earl Thomas, former Raven, getting a great stop. Maybe could even consider that a sack. Lamar tried to scramble it in us on first down. Let's get another stop. We'll let him get it. Oh, uh, and second down. Pass right to his tight end, Mark Andrews. No quarterbacks love their tight ends. Wouldn't let Lamar Jackson get it done on the ground, so we got it done through the air. <laughs> It'd be like that sometime. <laughs> how, 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 it's magic, you know. Never will be We could go three and out here. It is already third and ten. Hopefully we can convert. Can't get the ball back. Let's not give up on the run, even though Clayus Campbell stopped Luchasaurus the last run. Let's see what he can do here. EJ Chark. EJ Chark picking up another first down. Another third down here. We are in field goal range, so we don't want to get a turnover or sack. We gotta answer back. We gotta get in the end zone with how dominant the Ravens look. Chark, greedy. Again, but he did get a touchdown. Bruce Ribs just came back from injury. Now he's injured again. We will substitute the con man, Conley. Hey guys, get ready. Get ready for the X Factor. The Truss, the MVP, the man cover boy. Bar Jackson on his second drive. Get ready for him. Oh, got it to Willie Sneed again. Willie Sneed is a superstar in this game. You see why he's ranked in the top 10 on our franchise mode. Got the need for Sneed, just picking up first down after first down. I think each one of his catches are first down catches. Third and six, start center field. This is a pivotal play here in the second quarter. Let's stop him. Good job. Good pass breakup by Carlton Davis, the new star. Do the Carlton dance, get corny. I don't care, you deserve it. That was a great pass breakup. It's not unusual to be this, this plays Audible City. But, made it through the Audible. That's why he's a future Hall of Famer. Even when plays get messed up, he can still get us the first down. Another third down, some more stress for downtown PD Brown and Tony Khan. Hopefully, Ryan Fitzmagic can convert again. He's been perfect all day. 
Bad pass, but DJ Turk still gets it and gets some more. This guy Great needs to be an X Factor. He is the Complete best receiver in the NFL Church. this year. You know the strategy. We're within two minutes. We don't want to give the Ravens the ball back, especially with an X Factor like Lamar Jackson. Hopefully, we can score here, get in the end zone, not give the ball back. Oh, and we got sacks for the first time. That's Jimmy great. Smith. Jimmy Smith, the cornerback, a cornerback sack. And hopefully, maybe we can get a passing interference. Maybe we can get a big play. Let's see. Eifert, I choose you. Eifert picks up the first down, saves us, Fifth keeps the drive alive after that big sack. Tyler, Tyler Eifert, like I always say, as long as he's healthy, he's killer. After an amazing catch by Tyler Eifert, we are first and goal. Hopefully get the end zone right here. No mistakes. An easy touchdown. Eifert earned that one. He saved our drive. He kept it alive. And he gets a touchdown. Touchdown, That's what I'm talking about. What's he gonna do? Tug of war? Man, he should win this tug of war. <laughs> That's the end of the first half. We are up 14 to 7. Lamar Jackson definitely flexed his X Factor abilities. He picked up a first down through the ground, multiple through the air, getting a big touchdown on his first drive to Mark Andrews, but we did hold him to a punt. Good first half. We need a better second half. Let's close out. Let's try two runs in a row. Usually we don't want to do that. We don't want any fumbles. Like Rex Goathead. Let's see what uh, Source can do. He is no Goathead. He is the Tyrannosaurus Rex picking up a first down. Taken down at the Keeping the drive line. alive. It's a gain of Let's try another outside run. The last one worked pretty well. That was our focus at training camp. Let's see if it can continue. He's heating up. Great run. First down run. I guess Lucha Source has especially an outside run after training camp this week. Over 50 yards for the day. The fans at home know what time it is. It's third and short. We just signed him to a new contract. Steiner Media time. Outside runs, Lucha Source have been working. For a big dude, he's got agility to keep it up. Feeding the T-Rex. No one likes to see a hungry T-Rex. Uh-oh, hold. No! It was a holding play and it would have been Luchasaurus' first touchdown. I know it's a hold too. That hurts. Come on, guys. Holding offense. Of course it's holding offense. Man, holding calls are brutal, especially when they call back a touchdown. Let's go through the air. We've got a lot of yards to make up. DJ Turk's the man to make him up. I don't want to force it, but I'd love for Luchasaurus to get a touchdown here. Oh, it's not even Luchasaurus. I must be blind. Lavisca Chenault just hawking, stealing Luchasaurus's touchdown. Hey, defense, you had a long time to rest. Hopefully you're fresh and ready to stop Lamar Jackson. Go through the air on the ground forever. And he goes in the air right away. But we hold him. Jackson on the keeper. Lamar trying to ru rush on us on first down. Expect a lot more of that. Always be ready for Lamar to rush on us. Got an audible here. Lamar's dangerous. Bruh. Oh, geez. Wide open. That audible must get it right to their tight end. Mark Andrews is one fast tight end. He's out running our defensive backs. That was insane. Well, we stopped an easy run stop with stopping Mark Ingram for a small gain. Mark Ingram can't do anything, but Lamar Jackson can. Think of another first down. Mark Andrews is heating up two first downs in a row. One quarter defense, one quarter to victory. Let's get this week 15 victory against the Madden cover boy. Willie Sneed again, another first down for the need for Sneed. Lamar is trying to rush on us. It's third down, we stop two runs. Get ready for them to go through the air. Third and long. Gonna stop too much what? time. What a what catch. Mark Andrews killing us on this drive. The second touchdown of the game. His other one was an easy dump off. That was an impressive catch. Mark Andrews has been killing us. Now he's doing his poses with the defense. Oh, they're dabbing on us. Are you gonna take that? 
Jaguars, we're the ones who dab. Ah! <laughs> no turnovers, smart plays. Convert. Good job, DD. And here we are yet again in another third and long, very long. See if we convert. Eifert. Oh, terrible pass. Awful pass. What the hell was that? Through Eifert. Don't let it be a pick six, though. Come on, Chanel. Oh, that was terrible. It's the last thing we wanted to happen. Put you in a tough spot defense, but if you can hold them, keep them out of the end zone, we much appreciate it. Oh, and a pick back! See you, Chuck. They just picked us. DJ Hayden getting the pick back. Can he take it back for a pick six? And he does! Touchdown. Just came off a great pick six play. Defense, we needed that. We need that momentum swing. I think we're starting to get into the young Lamar Jackson's head. Let's keep it up. Oh, and they answer back. No way are they going to answer back with a touchdown. Ah! On a slant, really? Miles I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who you are. We had the Ravens burn two timeouts. We need to convert here. Got to get a first down. Not calling one of my bread butter plays. See if I can still do it on my own. X. LaVisca Chenault making a clutch play. Pick up that first down and burning. The last time out of the Ravens. We escape M&T Bank Stadium Ravens, going against the 21. Madden cover boy, the reigning defending MVP, the Trust, the X Factor Jackson, and his supernatural forces. We defeated the Ravens. We come out of week 15, the victors. Luchasaurus had another great game. Dede Westbrook came back from injury, had a great third down conversion, had a great touchdown. Tyler Eifert had a huge third down conversion. Great touchdown, DJ, DJ Chark. What more do I have to say? He is a superstar, an X-Factor in the making. We get another win in a row. We are on the right track. We've got a lot of momentum going to the playoffs. Playing against a really good team in the Ravens. We're desperate to get in the playoffs, but we wanted it more. We got the win. We took some sacks this game, so we are going to improve our offensive lineman training with Tony Khan. We are going to purchase that upgrade. Definitely need to keep Ryan Fitzpatrick upright, keep Fitzmagic healthy. We can upgrade a big play on our team. Josh Allen's our first upgrade. Had a big game. Had a was in it on a couple big tackles. Glad to have our superstar defensive end continuing to improve. Our veteran Ron Leary, our starting right guard, is improving to an 83 overall. Came back from injury two weeks ago. Definitely glad to have him back at our offensive line. Nice win, coach. Campbell did his best to shut us down, but it wasn't enough. I don't know. He looks super dominant. Very hungry for a revenge game, but I think we still won our challenge. Get some XP for our offensive line. We leave MNT Bank Stadium. We leave Baltimore after defeating not only the Madden cover boy, Lamar Jackson, but we defeat our former player, Calais Campbell. He was on a revenge game. We did not let him have that victory. We got a big win in week 15, and hopefully that momentum carries over to our week 16 matchup back at home against the Chicago Bears. There'll be a lot of Bears down on the field. We take on one of my least favorite teams. Reminder, I am a Packers fan, so not a big fan of the Bears. But thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys all have a happy holiday. If you guys have any suggestions for the series, please let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Tell everybody, everybody about these videos. Definitely appreciate the support. And as always, keep on dancing. Happy holidays, PD Party.